what was your what was your morning meeting like today? <laughs> Um, morning meeting today is focused a lot on the earnings, right? You okay. Know, yeah, and and the news about Xiaopeng DD. Yeah. Okay. And 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 anything we can glean from earnings so far, halfway through. Well, I guess you know overall level we're still seeing more downgrade than upgrade for the full year 2023 and mm. 2024. So you know first quarter, first half might be okay, especially on a year-on-year -year basis. But when people projecting the outlook, so far on the Asia we see 2.5 to one downgrade versus upgrade for the full year 2023 earning, mm. which says you know outlook people are still very cautious. Okay, and w what is your projection for EPS growth this year on MSCI China? Yeah, you know uh, beginning of the year we thought it might be around 10%. At that time, consensus were looking at 15%. Okay. Uh, currently, consensus has revised down to around 10%. We think there's still further downside, probably you know, mid-single digit. Yeah. You mentioned Xpeng, the big deal yesterday. BYD came out with earnings. How are you looking at EVs now? Um, I think you know EVs is one of the long-term strategic sector in the green economy basket that yes. we've been highlighting, right? right? But I think in the short term there are still challenges for the OEMs in terms of you know the pricing pressure, in terms of you know the the competition and potential market consolidation. So you know we say that strategically this is definitely an area investors should be positioned in. But in mm. the short term, you know you probably can still pick and choose the timing and the stocks. Yeah. In terms of, I guess, one last thing on earnings since we're talking about, we started in it. Earnings leadership across sector groups, rotation, any specific sector where you think revisions are starting to come alive? Uh, because overall, we're still down. You're trending down, as you point out. Yeah, I mean, uh, we need to see the end of the earnings season to, to figure that <laughs> Somehow, out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, how do you trade the market now, short term? What else do you need to see? Mm. Um, I think so far we've seen some monetary easings, you know, mm. the 10 basis point LPR cut, some relaxation on def defining the mortgage for, you know, first time home buyers. We've seen some stock market related policies, stamp duty, you know, stock large shareholder share selling. But these policy in themselves, I mean, they are a good start, right, in terms of yeah. rebuilding the confidence, but they are insufficient to set the market direction. Because I think what investors are fundamentally concerned is about the economy, right? It's the fundamental problems in property market, in LGAVs, in the private sector, employment. So I would say that, you know, we still need to see more policy addressing the fundamental issues. And investors patients are limited, right? You know, we've seen post the Polybureau meeting, mm. market traded down like 10% in a week. Then with no policy following up, market actually hit new lows of the year mm. by, by, by last week, right? So I would say next two, three weeks are still very important policy window. You know, we might still be able to give the policymakers some benefit of the doubt in the mm. near term. But if there's no more policy coming out by mid-September, um, for rest of this year, earnings economy market could face a pretty challenging time. 